in a delightful twist, we have not one but two members of the Browns defense with me. Miles Garrett, who I've known for a minute, and we're also joined by Denzel Ward today. Thank you so much for joining the Media Comp Show featuring Lenny Guess. Thank you. Appreciate you having me. Um, I guess since I got you both, and obviously you're part of the same defense, maybe we can start by talking a little bit about that defense and um, the change this year with new defensive coordinator Jim Schwartz. What would you say was the biggest change from the previous regime to this, the defense we saw this year and the defense that he called? Uh, I mean, giving the guys on the back end what they want. They wanted uh, you know, a little bit more man to man and uh, wanted to be more aggressive and you know knew that it was going to be you know two things you know, we had to set the pace up front and we had to you know dictate how the how the game was going to go and then they were going to play off of that and, and uh you know be the you know the really game records because you know we're getting the ball out quick we're making making them uh hurry up their process and y'all are getting your hands on the football yeah definitely i mean just everything that miles said but i think also uh his attention to detail like in the meeting rooms and being able to get the entire defense in there and it's open communication. I mean, he's going through every position, position group, telling us what he wants from us, expects from us. And uh, I mean, just putting high expectations on us, uh, the entire defense and on the uh, main guys that's in that room, like Miles, myself, and, and some of those players he expect a lot out of. I remember um, previous year, when you guys did play, man, the numbers were preposterous, like just the lowest in the NFL, but you didn't play it as much. This year, you continue to produce at a very high level. Do you feel like that'll always be the identity of the defense because of the personnel you have on the back end? Yeah, I think it definitely depends on the personnel that you have and being able to play man-to-man -man or the type of team that you are, whether you're playing man or zone. But I think with the guys that we got right now, that man-to-man -man is definitely probably the main focus. It seems like with you, it was less about the scheme and more about the personnel around you, which is to say, not getting double teamed at an absolutely absurd quite, rate. Quite as much. Uh, Although you actually did get double teamed almost as much. I remember looking it up. Yeah, it, it, it didn't change very much, but uh, I mean, the cast around me was producing at a very high level. You know, we you know, elevated each other. You know, the, uh, the guys uh, along the, the D-line, linebackers, you know, d warden them, they, they produced you know, very well because of, of the pressure that we were able to, to put up as a as a D-line front. What would you say is this, especially I want to hear from you as a pass rusher, what is the single most important thing when you're playing Patrick Mahomes? Playing Patrick Mahomes. Jeez. Uh, frustrate him. Uh, frustrate him. Frustrate him. Uh, with, that, with that talking, um, <laughs> you know, being being physical. You no, know, he he does get very passionate. But if you can get his his mind you know, off the game and you no know, focus on you, whether that's you no know, you pass really? rushing and, and getting hits on him, or you no know, just just you no know, hyping him up. Either one is is really going to to pay dividends down down the stretch. Okay, you don't have that opportunity on your end. But what would you say is the biggest challenge when he's on the other side of the field? Oh, uh, the big. I think him being able to extend plays. I mean. Uh, going against the receivers, we could kind of be tight in coverage, but right. just knowing that he's able to uh, evade those defenders on the uh, D line and, and kind of extend those plays and having to cover for so long and still being able to make a perfect pass down the field, I think that's one of the did most you, difficult parts. Do you happen to see the picture of him without a shirt on in the locker room? I'll just say it doesn't look like Miles Garrett. <laughs> Is it infuriating that he's able to, like, he doesn't look athletic? He doesn't. Yet, he got the dad bar yeah. going and he can. Hey, he rocks it. I'm, I mean, I've seen, you know, the, the work he puts in. I'm, I've, I've heard, you know, he, he takes care of his body. I uh, don't have to, you know, look like, you know, a Greek guy to, like to play. Hey, we <laughs> relax. <laughs> but the man just is perfecting his craft uh, in a way that uh, that fits him. You know, he doesn't need to, to, to look the part. You know, as long as he's doing what he needs to. You know, he's, he's got an you know, arm better than anyone else in the league. That's that's all he's worried about being mobile enough to get you know get it off. Isn't it feel like whenever he needs like six yards he gets seven. Whenever he needs eleven yards he gets twelve. Like he as a scrambler, I feel like he's the most infuriating and I'm sure on your end as well when you got your back turned to him and man covered you're just like He's just <laughs> athletic enough. Just enough, exactly. And he that's know exactly he enough. knows the game very well and he has a, he has an arm uh, that no okay. that can go against the best of them. I'm gonna ask you a question We're wrapping up soon. Um, speaking of looking like, I have to ask, have you been told, and maybe you've seen this, no. that you look no. like, do you know who Don't. I'm going to show you? Yes. <laughs> ah, no. It's Milton from Love is Blind, who, a.k.a. if Miles Garrett never worked out. <laughs> you have gotten this. I have gotten he, this. I mean, come on. Like, he does kind of look like him, though. Got the same hairstyle a little bit. Oh, got the mustache. Hey, the relax. Did you, did you not watch Love is Blind? No, I did. I just had you know, <laughs> some, like, kinda nerd -like you some friends you know, reach like out about Pokemon it. And, like, <laughs> <laughs> not that you're
everybody likes Pokemon. So. Um, lastly, you guys are here with, uh, I don't know if everyone likes Pokemon, certainly not all NFL players. You guys are here with Bounty, can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, so I mean, just here to uh, represent Bounty. You can't have football without wings. Can't have wings without Bounty. You can't have wings without Bounty. There you go, you got the tag team <laughs> yeah. already. Yeah, Sorry. wingman. <laughs> That's my yeah. wingman right there. All right, thank you guys so much for joining me. This is fun. Uh, appreciate it.